Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha and today we have my July empties. Today is actually the 29th of July so we technically have a couple of days till the 1st of August. However, my empties bins are completely full. That's right. I completely filled my tote bin this month to the point where I had to start using a backup bag. So You'll see in the thumbnail they were both completely full. I have organised it all. Just because there was so much this month, I thought we would do a kind of categorised empty. So everything is categorised and laid out. I have all of my home fragrance bits in here. And then my tote was full of my hygiene items. I mean full. Yeah, it's been a crazy month. So much good progress. Um, I will have my project use up, up this week as well. So you can see everything else in there. I did use quite a few of my items from that project. I'm just going to jump right in. I don't want to ramble too much i am going to say this is probably going to be a very long video but i am going to split it up in categories so if you're not too bothered about certain items or whatever you can just skip through but it's going to be a very good month so i'm actually going to start with the home items because they are the most organized <laughs> and i'll work through the hygiene so first up this one that did not even fit in any of the bins this is the comfort apple blossom this is my favorite like, fabric softener fabric scent i love this scent so much it is apple jasmine and musk it smells incredible i always get so many compliments on my clothes and things so i really love this unfortunately i haven't been able to find it i know comfort has gone through a little bit of a rebrand a refresh of their packaging and everything i haven't been able to find it i'm really disappointed about that and i hope i can find an alternative i've been trying out some other couple of things because i really love this mix of fruity and fresh so hopefully i'll be able to find something i love as much as this but this is just me like Apple perfumey brush. Oh, I love it. But yeah, if anyone knows any fabric lines that have an apple scent, please let me know. We all know by now apple and pear is my favourite scent category. And then we have two of the Febreze fabric refreshers. We have the Bora Bora Vibes. My mum finished up this one. And then we have the fabric refresher in spring awakening spring awakening is my favorite i think bora bora mum was just giving it a go for the summer we will always repurchase these and we do actually keep hold of these packaging and refill them with our own homemade fabric refresher if you just pop a small amount of your favorite fabric softener such as this one if you pop a, a small amount in there and then top the rest of it with water you can just make your own but these are actually two full bottles we did go through um just now i don't have any of my favorite fabric stuff now i can't make any of my own but we will get there we'll find some new scents i'm dying to try the new strawberry swirl in the febreze line so i will definitely pick those up next time i see them so we clearly go through quite a lot and then we have two packets of eight hour tea light we are really getting back on our wax use it up in this house now that i'm working from home pretty much more than half of the week i'm being really diligent about putting the wax warmers on whether it's electric or tea light so we did go through two full packets of those i know my nan is on her wax game as well because her room has been smelling incredible recently so we do have a few random bits we'll get through before we get to home fragrance pens i don't know why but i have become obsessed with using up pens recently and i just keep throwing them in my empties bin so i used up a big medium i love these we'll repurchase them it's so weird to talk about pens but i know there's a couple of people out there who like it and then the Bermate ink joy these used to be my favorite but i've gone off this like triangular triangular shape it's just too chunky so two more pens finished up okay home fragrance i've got some wax and then i've got one candle this was the star of the month so for context because i'm going to mention this throughout this video so many times the uk had a heat wave in june which completely disappeared we are now just rain and clouds a little lie because today we are seeing 18 19 degrees with some sun but still cloudy and not very hot so all my project and all the wax and candles I pulled were super summery and fresh and fruity and that's just not been the vibe recently. So I've got to say this was very much the beginning of July. This was the Passion Fruit Cocktail. This is an Aldi brand. I picked this up for I think $2.99, $3.99 at the max. I loved this. This was super, super strong thrower. I would say medium to high. It lasted a fairly long time for the size of the candle. Um, it's very, very sooty, as you can see. It's literally, virtually black around the top edge. But this smells so good. This smells exactly like a passion fruit martini. I loved this. It was strong. It lasted for ages. 
I literally managed to bin all the way down until it would not light again. I did repurchase this. I hope it wasn't just a fluke and the other one performs great as well. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this. That has just got soot all over me. <laughs> okay, and then we have a lot of wax going on some wax clamps. First off, I'll just go through this little sample. This is a Scentsy sample in Lychee Sorbet. I would say that the amount you get in here is about equivalent to one Scentsy cube, which is generally what I use because I only have mini warmers in my bedroom. This and like this in the tub and on the first five minutes smelt incredible. It's like a lychee Share, but like a really fizzy, effervescent, fresh, fruity, tropical, summery scent. I loved it for the first 10 minutes. First off, it is beyond strong. This one cube burning in my room, I could taste it. I was working and I was like, this is weird, like what is going on? I got a weird taste in my mouth, my nose is burning, I'm getting a headache, it was this. So I blew it out after about an hour because it was choking me out the room. I had the door open, the window open as wide as it would go and it was still just far too strong. Then the next day I went to relight it and it was just musk. It just smelled like pure musk and bitter and just not, not good. So... I think this will be perfect if you have a really open space. I think I should have done this downstairs. I didn't realise it was going to be so strong. I wouldn't repurchase it because the issues I had with it, but it was a really nice scent for the first five minutes. So fruity and tropical and fresh and that really like fizzy sheer bit scent. I really, really like that. But yeah, this was a really odd one to be honest, but I'm glad I used it anyway because I've got so many of those little samples. Okay, and then we have one Scentsy Clam. This is the Pink Rhubarb Sugar. This is from the new releases from last summer, I think. Or this summer, I don't know. We used this downstairs and this was so good. So like that lychee one, this was also effervescent with that like sherbetty, sugary touch. But this was rhubarb instead. Not, gotta say, wasn't obsessed with the rhubarb. But it smelled really great downstairs with all the windows and the doors open. And this it smelled exactly like a rhubarb custard sweet, but without the custard side. Just that really effervescent, bubbly rhubarb scent. So yeah, definitely, definitely loved this one. We'll pick it up if I start on sale again. And then my nan has so many contributions to this empties. So she went through an air pure then in the fruit burst. She had this going and it smelled incredible. Her room kind of like wafts out into the hall and the upstairs of the house and it smells so good. Yeah, really, really like these. Very like pineapple-y, passion fruity, orange fruits. And then two of the Wickford & Co's. These are from Home Bargains. These are staples in our house. I think these were used downstairs and in the bedrooms, just like all around the house. I think Tropical Splash came from Nan and then Hazy Summer Nice was used all over the house. Tropical Splash is like a citrusy, limey, orange scent. Yeah, pretty good. Definitely like a vanilla undertone to it. And then Hazy Summer Nights is musky, kind of smells like a sunset, like musky dawn type, like, I don't know, fruity, but musky, it's still pretty good, always good downstairs in the open concept, so used those. So that is all of the home stuff, so we'll move on to like hygiene stuff. So used all a lot. We went through our hair care this month. So mum finished up a set in the L'Oreal Paris LV Colour Protect. She used up the uh, shampoo and the conditioner. I know she's also just started to finish up the hair mask. I think she liked these. No complaints. I think she will repurchase these. These have a uh, 10 week colour protector in and she does dye her hair. So yeah, use up these extra large packs. And then we finished up a couple of hair masks. So these were between me and my sister. So I talk about these two all the time, but we have happened to finish up both at the same time. So this is the Hair Foods Banana and Shea by Ultimate Blends. And then we have the Body Shops Classic Banana Hair Mask. So this is definitely a little bit of a dupe for the Body Shop version. It's a little bit cheaper and you get a lot more in this. This is 390 ml and this one is 230. So, I love these both for very different reasons. We'll start out with the Body Shop one. The Body Shop one is thick. It is very nice. It's very thick, very luxurious, very soft. 
it is a banana base mask I have shea in there but you only smell the banana i use this when i want a really really deep condition and i'm probably not going to style my hair afterwards i'm just going to leave it whereas this one same with all of the other hair foods are a lot thinner a lot runnier but still incredible for styling especially when i'm leaving my hair all nice and curly and natural i really like the lightweight uh, mask to scrunch through my hair these one this one has the shea in there but you can smell it this one smells like vanilla -y banana which i don't love because it smells a little bit like sick it, it just does. I, I'm not the biggest fan of banana smells. Smells wise, prefer this one. Thickness wise, this one's thicker. This one's better for styling and still does provide a lot of moisture. This one you get more in and is a lot cheaper. So, pros and cons to both and we will keep repurchasing both. We have another conditioner. I think this is the one my sister uses. The Ultimate Blends Creamy Nourishing Conditioner in Argan and Almond with Moroccan Argan Oil. Yep. Uh, a classic we clearly love the ultimate blends line i didn't use this one because of the almond content but i do enjoy the ultimate blends conditioners and she will repurchase we have a dry shampoo me and my mum both use this i'm not a massive dry shampoo person but every now and again if i'm like going to like an exercise class or whatever and i'm thinking i don't want to go with my hair really 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 greasy but i don't want to wash it before doing exercise i'll just stick a bit of dry shampoo in this is the superdrug's own coconut dry shampoo definitely repurchase does the job and leaves behind a nice tropical hint of coconut scent in the hair <coughs> We have my classic shampoo and conditioner little set. This is the tea gel therapeutic shampoo. I talk about this all the time. This is for my psoriasis. I have a patch at the back of my head. This works perfectly in conjunction with the Body Shop Ginger Shampoo. Then this is something I never really have in the empties because as you can see, it's the Body Shop refill system. So I usually would just finish it up and refill it. Now that I don't work for the company, I'm I'm not there constantly. I don't constantly I don't have access to the refill system as often. Um so I've been doing like a one full one open type system. So I do have another one that is full. This will just go in rotation. Next time I'm out and about, I will go get this refilled. But this is the Shea conditioner. This is an incredible thick conditioner. I love the way that it feels on my hair. This is as thick a conditioner as I can go for without weighing my hair down. It smells super, super good. Yeah, I love this one. I love anything in the Shea line. So yeah, like I said, already got another one full, but we'll refill this next time I'm out and about. We have some teeth care. We have two of the Aquafest Triple Protection. Definitely gone through more than these, more than two of these this month, but just the two that I managed to catch before someone recycled them. Also used up a Colgate one that I really, really loved. It was in like a teal green packaging. Um, can't seem to find it, but yeah, Aquafresh Colgate, they're kind of our go-tos. Talking of Colgate, two of their mouthwashes. So my sister prefers the Cool Mint and I prefer the Soft Mint. But yeah, definitely our go-to and we've repurchased both of these. And then we have our deodorant situation. So, deodorant. <laughs> I finished two of the passion fruit and lemongrass from dove absolute favorite go-to's i love them my sister finished up one so there's three total and then my mom finished up two of the short 72 hour one in bright bouquet and one in uplifting and fresh antiperspirant i'm guessing it's watermelon because there's watermelon on the front i wanted to show these as like a little bit of an alternative to the dove the dove have gone ridiculously expensive after they repackage and rebrand and i think the short is a great alternative luckily i have quite a lot of dove in back stock so we'll eventually move over to the shore but for now I'll go through my Dove stash. But yeah, these are a great alternative, a little bit cheaper and really readily available. Okay, so we'll get onto the miscellaneous bits that are in front of me. So I have like a stash of like packaged things. So I have a packet of Bare Face Beauty Biodegradable Makeup Wipes. These are from Primark. I go through a packet of these every three to four months. I only, only use these when I am doing my makeup. And you, know, you kind of get makeup everywhere, it's on the back of your hand, it's on your desk. I just use them to wipe around really quickly, wipe the back of my hands if I'm in a rush. Also, if I'm in a rush to go to bed, if I'm rolling in at four or five o'clock in the morning, which doesn't happen very often at all, sometimes I want to make up wipes, but makeup wipes are not good for you, they're not good for the environment, and they should be a last case resort. Last resort, so that's what I use them for. 
we have my go-to Aldi Saxon bathroom flushable wipes, can't beat them. Have been trying some other brands just for variety recently. A set of cucumber eye masks from The Body Shop, so me and my mum both use the top half of our packet. <laughs> you do get two in each pack, but yep, so I finished up one and mum finished up one. Pretty much always do these before we do our makeup or after we've done our makeup because I get really sensitive dry eyes and I think your makeup just goes on really nicely when your whole skin is nice and hydrated and healthy so I love these will repurchase we have a silver refreshing foot mask from mum mum loves these foot masks anytime we pop out she's like oh see if they've got them these are from home bargains I think they're £1.50 can't really beat them and I think a really nice extra step routine to look after your feet and then we have this. This is a little sample pack from Clarins of their Not Just a Primer SOS Primer range. I got this in a um, Next package when you order from Next Beauty. Sometimes they throw samples in there and this was one of them. So there was actually a sam three samples. It was the Mattifying and Blow mattifying and blur pores and reduce shine there was the white which is a boost glow and increase skin luminosity and the peach which is for blur for imperfections and even skin tone so mum actually used these all because she wears foundation and makeup a lot more regularly than me so it just made sense she said that she really really enjoyed these and would repurchase she didn't specifically say which one i assume the glow one so that's kind of what she's more into with her skincare but yeah she really enjoyed these and i assume she would purchase them and assuming they're a little bit expensive because they are Clarins but yeah they were they were a good one and then I finished off two packets of nails these are the Primark glue on nails I went through a square gloss in the pink color and a square matte in the blue I kind of just mix and match these and did like some pink some blue you probably see them on some of my videos the pink lasted ages but the blue set just like fell off immediately I don't know if it was something to do with my application maybe but I have purchased a load of these because I'm finding working full time and just time in general. I've been getting my nails done a lot less. Also, my nails are super healthy at the moment and really quite long. So, I'm just trying to do treatments on them, as in like acrylics, shellac, fake nails, less, and just keep them as natural as I can. And then, just on holidays or Christmas or birthdays, go and get them done properly. Just work it out for me and the way I've been I look after them at the moment. And then we have one more makeup item. We have the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Rimmel London. This was from Mum. I thought I'd throw this in here because makeup's not something I talk about a lot. Um, this is a really great drugstore foundation. My mum really enjoys this one. I have a really good range of shades. They also do different skin type ones. This is the Hydration Boost 25 Hour with SPF 20. I don't know what the shade is. Cause, oh, it's a 210 Golden Golden Beige. Probably similar to what I would use as well. Uh, yeah. A staple and really great drugstore makeup item. We have a Dr. O'Keefe's for healthy feet cream. Again, this is my mum's, but I do nab this from time to time. A really great treatment, really nice and thick, good for the feet, would repurchase. Uh, I just said one more makeup thing and then found another one. This is the Rimmel Hyper Precise All Day. This is the eyeliner. This is my mum's holy grail and we just haven't been able to find it recently. She really loves this. I would say this is really good for a beginner or someone who's just not, you know, steady-handed or the best at eyeliner. It's really easy to use. And it comes with like a really great precise like pen hold. I don't know, really great. Um, we'll keep the eye out for mum to repurchase this. Mum also went through the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Superfusion Facial Oil. I got these little samples when I went to a Charlotte Tilbury event and my mum, she's fell in love with all the skincare. Unfortunately, they're all over £100 each. She loves the eye cream, the face cream and this oil. So, I don't know, maybe I suppose we could treat her one day and get her the set. But yeah, she really, really enjoyed this and said that Charlotte Tilbury was... She really enjoyed the skincare. Although she did say that she is happy to keep using her body shop and... Is kind of like not disappointed if that makes sense like she would she's very happy to carry on with her routine the Charlotte Tilbury was just like a nice little treat but she did say it's probably not worth the hundred pounds then I think this is mum's last one I think this is the Sarah Nelson celebrated ginger lip balm this is probably very well known in the north of England or the northwest of England so this is probably a very specific item but this is a homemade lip balm from the ginger shop, which is it from the gingerbread shop, which is in the Lake District. So they have like a traditionally made gingerbread in a certain area of Cumbria, and 
it's very well known, I think. If anyone's from Cumbria watching, it's very specific, but you will know what I'm talking about. Every time we visit the Lake District, we go to the gingerbread shop and we got some gingerbread. So mum was like, ooh, they do lip balm. I want to try that. It smells exactly like their gingerbread. It smells so good and she loved this and it was just like an extra little takeaway from the gingerbread shop so love that would repurchase. This is the finished up the seaweed oil control gel cream. This is her face cream. This is perfect for combination to oily skin. Love this, will repurchase. Seaweed is a staple in our combination household. I finished off my go-to, I would say face cream in general, but this is my go-to night cream at the moment, the Nivea Soft. I finish these up all the time. The Nivea Soft uses as a night cream, like I said. I scooped out as much as I could. I've used this probably for about 10 years, will never change. Love the Nivea, it will always work for me, and so I'm not looking to change. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting onto more shower products and stuff now. So we finished out a British Rose hand cream. I'm pretty sure this was mum's. I think she goes through at least two hand creams a month. So there's hers. And then we have a Tesco's Extract Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. Mum used most of this and then I finished it up. This smelled incredible. I'm going to have to repurchase this for the winter time. This smells like hot chocolate. Oh, it smells so, so good exactly like a cocoa bean. Oh, I love it. It's warm, it's comforting, it's silky soft, it's so good. It's probably not expensive because it is the Tesco own brand. Definitely will repurchase this. We finished up at least two of the Dove Beauty cream bars. Probably finished up, I'd say more realistically, about four or five. We keep two of these in the bathroom at all times and we go through them constantly. They are a staple and a constant repurchase. Never really dive away from anything but the white bar. We have lots of soaps. So while we're on the soap train, let's go through these. So we have this situation. We have the Bayless and Hardings Sweet Mandarin and Grapefruit. We finished this one up in the bathroom. This one was 500 ml, so it was a real big tub, but we went through it super quickly. It smells really fresh really citrusy. Definitely more on the grapefruit, which is not my favourite, but tolerable. Mum got these from like a big multi-pack in Costco, I think, so we've got quite a few we're working through. It was in my project use up. You can see it does have a body shop lid on, and that is because I stole the pump. So we bought loads of these pink grapefruit hand wash refill bottles from the outlet for like literally a pound, I think even less than that. So these came with just the normal body shop screw lid. So I was like, mm, we don't really have a a hand wash dispenser spare at the moment so I just took the Bayless and Harden one put it down to size for this pink grapefruit one it literally fit perfectly I just cut it down so we also finished that up in the bathroom and then in the kitchen we went through kitchen mandarin from Bath and Body Works in the Foman this one has notes of sparkling mandarin fresh thyme and cedarwood oh, so good yeah love this one Definitely get the time. It's very kitcheny and just fresh. Love that one. Also went through the eucalyptus and spearmint in the ferment from the aromatherapy line. This one has notes of eucalyptus and spearmint, basically. Um, yeah, just fresh. Toothpaste. <laughs> but it was actually really nice. So two in the kitchen and two in the bathroom. Okay, I finished up a pocket bag in Somebody Loves You Tutti Frutti Candy. I loved this. I, I love this so much, um, but it was going to expire this year, so I just needed to use it up. I say for Easter, but it's probably been open since May. It does smell like champagne toast. It's definitely more sweet lemony, like jelly beany. I don't know, but it just smells like candy. I love that one. And then we have this situation. My sister finished up a full size Into the Night Fine Fragrance Mist and a travel size Into the Night Fine Fragrance Mist. I have mentioned this many times on my channel. This is her signature scent. She has about 12 of these open at a time and sprays them all. She doesn't just open one and finish one. She has like 12 around the house. So she finished her travel size because she has gone on a couple of trips recently and she finished up this one. This is from 2021 and literally the packaging has come away. I think this is her original one that she got maybe last year or the year before. Good. And then she got this last summer. So two finished up for her and I think she has four or five in backup so she's sweet on that okay now let's get to the last category and that is some shower gels yes we're making up for last month where there was no shower gels and empties and this month we have five so this one we have is another nan classic the imperial leather marshmallow 
Nan always repurchases the Imperial Leather Shower Gels in these funky scents. This was the Marshmallow. I actually used this one day where we had a really dull day. Every day of July, basically. This was so good. Like, sweet vanilla -y marshmallow. Actually, really enjoyed it. So, yeah, she will always have a stock of these. I know she has a stock of these. So, yeah. No, no short on shower gels for Nan. And then this one, Mum finished up. This is the Soap and Glory Simply Boosting, the Boost Revitalizing Body Wash with grapefruit and rhubarb. Wow, that went on. Okay, so Mum said she really enjoyed this. She really enjoyed the scent and everything. She loves the Soap and Glory. I use this a couple of times. It's definitely just like a fruity perfumey. Definitely get the grapefruit and the rhubarb, and it's actually a really nice balance of the both. However, she hated the packaging. You can see that there is still quite a little bit down the bottom in that corner. That you no know one, we just can't get it out. Like you can see all the squeeze lines on this bottle. You've really got to squeeze it to the point where you kind of just have to like take the lid off and just wait and pour. But it is so thick. It travels down the bottom, the bottle so slowly. I mean, it's not. It's literally not even moving. It's so thick and like just congealed is that the word i don't know this packaging was rubbish that it was clearly just the shower gel was just too thick to move and get out so yeah a bit of a pain to get through and we got as much out as we could and then we have this achievement this is the satsuma from the body shop in the 750ml pump bottle satsuma is one of my favorite scents from the body shop and it has been since i was a little girl well long before i worked there I love it. It's just so fruity and tropical and fresh. I love a good orange scent. So this was in my project, so we didn't go through the whole thing in a month, but I'm just really happy to get this finished up. Yeah, I will repurchase this one, but probably not in this big pump style again. But yeah, I love that one of our absolute favourites and goes with so many good routines. And then we have two Bath & Body Works. So pretty much I finished this one up on my own. This is the Denim and Daisies. This one has notes of Sweet Daisies, Sun So Denim and Summer Citrus. No one in my family was a big fan of this, to be honest. Myself included. I wouldn't repurchase it. It's a laundry denim, like denim, clean, fresh denim, floral, citrus. Basically the notes. But... Not a fan. Not a lover of citrus or floral myself. That denim note is just really bizarre. I don't know. It was good for as the weather was kind of still warm but cool, especially on the warm rainy days, which let's be honest, no one likes warm rainy days. They're just weird, aren't they? But this scent tends to kind of match that vibe. And I loved the blue packaging. I can't wait to put this in my scrapbook. And then we have Summer Melody. Summer Melody was a shower gel that I just threw in from my project because I don't love it. I didn't think it was going to be a big hit and it was one I just thought, I can get through this. I need space in my collection. This one can just get used up. I'll talk more about crow progress in my project, but for the first month or so, sorry, my camera just ran out of space, so we talk about summer melody so the first month in the project i kind of just used it myself i have my own set of bathroom drawers where i put things that i don't want people to use and both of these were kind of in there and then i was getting bored of them both so i put them in the communal bathroom cupboard and oh my gosh my family raced through this my sister fell in love with it her girlfriend fell in love with it and my dad fell in love with it he kept talking about the honey scent the honey bronze scent i was like what honey scent are you on about? But it is golden honey and bronzed vanilla. So I think he just read honey and was like, yum. He loves almond milk and honey from the body shop. But yeah, they fell in love with this. It's definitely honeydew melon. Like I get green melon. And then bit of vanilla. Like but bronzy vanilla, like sun kissed. Yeah, they loved this. I had to tell them that it's discontinued and I won't be able to get them anymore. But if I did say on it on sale or pop up in the clearance, I would pick them some up. I wouldn't pick it up for myself. But I couldn't understand personally why this was so overhyped. But clearly my family's obsession with this has proved it. So yeah, we all got good use out of this. My mum, my dad, my sister and my girlfriend. We all <laughs> used this up. And that's probably why we got through so much shower gel this month. Because everyone was racing to use it. Um, because they were literally fighting over it. <laughs> so yeah, a big hit in my house. So that is everything. I'm just gonna show you the aftermath of this video this is something i don't really show but the other side of it so we have one pile two pile and three pile i have a challenge on my hands to organize this so i need to get it recycled put away and i need to sell my project out because my next video will be my project use up where obviously you can see everything that i've been using 
And then I have a Body Shop Flash Sale haul, a Body Wigs Clearance Sale haul, and I desperately need to organise my collection. So lots to come in August. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. This is definitely a long one, but I'm proud of everything we did this month. This was clearly a very successful month of getting through some of my collection, which I seriously need to because I'm seriously running out of space. So it's really nice to see a nice empty bin ready for next month. Hopefully we can do some damage next month as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.